Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build a pneumorphic button inside of Webflow. Let's get right into it. All right, so here's the exact button we're gonna be building today. You can see it's just got this beautiful, nice pneumorphic effect. And when I hover on it, you just get that beautiful drop shadow that kind of blurs and dulls and gives you that nice lift off the background. Super clean, modern, sleek lift off the background. So this is what we're gonna be building today. It's only gonna take us two steps. One, we're gonna add box shadows to our button. And then two, we're gonna create this super soft animation on hover. So without further ado, let's add this to your sites. All right, so let's hop into Webflow here. And as you can see, I have a button here against my body in the background. Now, very importantly, before we start, you don't want your background of your page to be perfectly white. If it's perfectly white, this pneumorphic effect won't work. You'll see why here in a few seconds. So set your background to something slightly off-white, maybe tan or any other color like that. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab our button and we're just gonna match the background color to the background of our page, just like this. For me, it's E9, 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 but choose anything like that that you want, all right? All right, now we're gonna grab our button again and we're gonna add a box shadow, all right? So we're gonna come down here to box shadow and we're just gonna change this slightly. We're gonna add a little bit of distance here, a little bit of blur, uh, take away a little bit of size, just to play with it a little bit. We're gonna drop our transparency just to make this shadow a little softer. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly like what I have here, but something close, just a, a nice soft black box shadow on that bottom right corner. All right, so that's good. Now with the same button selected, we're gonna add a second box shadow. This time, we're gonna change the angle to the opposite corner. So in our case, the top left corner of the same button, maybe right around there. Uh, and we're gonna change this to a white box shadow. This is why we needed our background to be that slightly off-white color, because otherwise we couldn't see this white background shadow up there in that top left corner. So you can see this button is starting to really get a cool little modern feel, that pneumorphic effect. You can really start to see it already with just two box shadows. So now let's animate this and make that soft hover animation that I showed you earlier. So select our button again, and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna to change to our hover state. All right, and we're gonna come down here and we're just gonna we're just gonna tinker with our box shadows in our hover state. So, you know, we'll add some major distance here maybe, really blur it down, um, change the size slightly um, and just play with it like that, okay? So make it a little softer when we hover for the white and then black, we're gonna do the same thing. So just make it a little a little bigger so we see it soften it up with a little more blur, maybe drop the size down slightly, and then also drop the transparency some more too, just to really soften it when we hover, so you can get that lift effect off the page. All right, that's our goal here. All right, so let's test this out. Let's see how, let's see how it looks. So we'll come back to our none state, and we'll preview. And we can see that when we hover, it looks nice, it's just hard. That looks actually very clean coming off that back page, so that's sweet. But we wanna give it a little bit of an easing there, so let's come back to our button. We're coming back to our none state, and we're gonna come all the way down, and we're gonna just gonna add a transition here, just to add that little easing when we hover. And we're gonna change our type to box shadow, because that's the thing that we wanna ease into. And then we can change how long it takes, so we'll go up to maybe 400 milliseconds. All right, so last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna come to preview and just see how it turned out. So you can see with no hover, you get that nice clean pneumorphic effect right there on the page. And when we move our mouse and hover on the button, you get that soft, gentle pneumorphic lift right off the body. And it just looks so clean. So you can add this to your site if you wanna take it to that next level. So anyways, guys, that is how you make a pneumorphic button inside of Webflow. It's just that easy. Two box shadows and a transition on hover, and that is all you need. So if you found this video helpful, please go down and smash that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you're finding this content valuable, consider subscribing. New videos every single week. If you have any questions, go down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for being here again. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that you're here. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.